welcome to chemistry lover so this is the challenge question today i have given in the channel some of you tried uh, to give the answer so let me tell the names so here i have this uh, some of the students kamlesh patel pinky and tuhina they tried to give the answer but uh, they did wrong now let me um, give you the correct answer and let me give you the mechanism of this reaction so first we have to know uh, what happens when this type of system is there one adjacent OH group and then uh, then adjacent to that you have this N benzoyl thing so what happens when we treat this with HCl so this is a very interesting uh, system okay so if you don't give anything like HCl or anything then also a reaction occurs so let me show you uh, so if you have a simple system like this where you have OH group and adjacent to that you have this NH COPH so there is a continuous rearrangement okay there is a continuous rearrangement and this OH from this nitrogen group this benzoyl group migrates on this side the oxygen side and this becomes free like NH2 and vice versa so there is a continuous uh, migration from one atom to another atom from nitrogen side to oxygen side there is a continuous migration but when you use acid or base you can uh, push this reaction to either one of the side for example when you use acid so when you use acid what happens when you use acid the reaction becomes irreversible and it goes to this side and it becomes actually NH3 plus so this is what happens when you use acid but if you use base then what happens if you use base then you will see that uh, you will get so then this NH2 will attack over here and you will get this as your product so now the reaction goes to the left hand side so this is your product now we have to know why this happens so in acidic medium what happens in acidic medium the reaction goes through like this way so let me erase all these things let me erase these things uh, in acidic medium uh, here protonation occurs okay in acidic medium I have to use different color so here protonation happens now uh, because of this protonation these centers becomes electrophilic and this oxygen lone pair easily attacks over here and after these things forms okay in acidic medium now because it is in acid so this NH2 becomes NH3 plus in acidic medium and that's why uh, it loses its nucleophilic character there is no lone pair available on the nitrogen and it cannot attack further on this carbonyl group so this is why in acidic medium the reaction stops here so it becomes irreversible in one side now what happens in base so let me just revert all these things okay let me just revert it now we are talking about base right we are talking about base so what happens in base uh, in basic medium uh, this NH2 always remains NH2 and there is available lone pair on the on the nitrogen atom there is available lone pair on the nitrogen atom and this lone pair attacks on it because now uh, this is nucleophilic and it will attack over here so now this will open and in base it will become O minus and it, it will be like this now you can think that this OH O minus can attack over here to uh, make the reaction over this side but this, this does not occur the reaction only goes to this side in base because if you consider the uh, nucleophilicity of OH minus and electrophilicity of this position this position is not that much electrophilic because of this nitrogen lone pair push so this becomes 
less electron deficient or we can say electron rich. So, this O minus cannot attack over here and that is why uh, we get this as our product in basic medium. So, all these things uh, we just uh, we just have to know and that is why I discussed. Now, let us uh, go back to our original discussion that is what is the product for these two uh, these two substrates ok. What is the product? So, you have this substrate you have this substrate and all in both these you have you can see there is one OH group and adjacent to that you have this N benzoyl. Uh, substituent and this is these are the examples of natural product and this is called norephedrine ok. Now, here the all the game is of stereochemistry because we are uh, we can see that it is happening in acidic medium. So, there is no confusion no basis there we know that this uh, benzoyl group will migrate towards this oxygen because it is in acidic medium, but here stereochemistry plays some important role. So, uh, now first let us draw the molecule 1 or this molecule in Newman projection formula. So, we if we draw it in Newman projection formula what we will get? We will get pH over this side, hydrogen over this side and OH over this side. Now, you can see this is actually if you see this is actually uh, 3 O isomer because phenyl and methyl are in the same side, but hydrogen hydrogen and OH and NHCOPH they are in opposite side. So, this is 3 O isomer. So, if we put uh, if we put this um, like um, methyl group over here, if we put methyl group over here we have to place the R. So, now you can see methyl and phenyl they are anti to one another. So, if this is 3 O isomer that means hydrogen hydrogen and this nitrogen oxygen these groups will not be anti they will be ghost to one another. So, we have to put these groups in ghost position with respect to one another. So, this is one and this is one. So, this is this is the uh, Newman projection formula of the same molecule this molecule. Now, you can see in this particular arrangement this oxygen lone pair can easily attack over here. So, this will open and what you will get? You will get your product like this. So, here, uh, here you will get this O C O P H methyl hydrogen in H and now you can see here your pH. Now, obviously, protonation will happen over here and finally, you will get NH 3 plus over here. So, this is the product. So, here the product product A is actually what will be product? Product A is actually pH uh, MEPH here you have NH 3 plus here you have hydrogen here you have O COPH and here you have hydrogen. So, this is your product A, this is your product A. Now, let us see what happens for the other one ok. So, there is a same molecule, same molecule, but different stereochemistry the other one is actually the erythro isomer ok. So, now for the erythro isomer if we draw. So, you can see this is the Newman projection formula. So, this side is same uh, the H, OH and pH they are same, but now because erythro so all the groups will have same relationship. So, if we put uh, methyl over here we have to put the NH CO pH over here and hydrogen over here. So, now in this particular arrangement the anti arrangement you can see this OH and this NaN group they are actually anti to one another and this oxygen lone pair cannot attack on this side. So, there this attack is not possible. So, one thing you can do is you can rotate this. So, you can have a rotation. So, 60 degree rotation you can do. Uh, if you do a rotation what will you get? So, you have this H, this OH, here you have this pH. Now, if you just rotate it, what will happen? This NH group will come here, you have this pH and uh, then this hydrogen will go here, this methyl will come here. Now, you can see in this particular arrangement, uh, although this attack is possible, but now this methyl and this pH they are now ghost to one another. So, there will be severe steric clash and 
this uh, molecule cannot achieve this particular stereochemistry. So, it will remain in this stereochemistry and no reaction will take place. So, in, uh, in this molecule uh, no reaction will take place when you give HCl. So, only reaction will take place for molecule 1 and not for molecule 2. So, I hope that your uh, doubt is cleared. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt. Thank you for watching.